Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. Today we are making chicken stir fry vermicelli noodles with napa cabbage. This is a popular recipe from northeastern Chinese cuisine. In this video, I actually did a small little twist by using sour cabbage. That fermented touch really brings the dish to a different level. I'm sure you're gonna like it. Vermicelli noodles are also known as glass noodles because they have a transparent look. What I'm using today are these sweet potato starch noodles. I like to use a pair of scissors to cut them into 6 inch long pieces. If your noodles are too long, they will tangle with each other while stir frying. Cutting dried noodles takes some force. You will need a heavy duty scissors, or you can cut them after you pre-cooked them. Bring 3 liters of water to a boil, adding the noodles. Turn the heat to low and keep the pot at a slight simmer for 4 to 5 minutes or until the noodles are soft but slightly undercooked. You can take a bite. The center of the noodles should be a little bit chewy. Okay, that is good. Drain the noodles completely. Rinse them with cold running water to stop the cooking process. Shake off the excess water. Put them in a mixing bowl. Add half tablespoon of dark soy sauce. This is for the dark brown color so it looks savory. Drizzle in a little bit of vegetable oil. Mix it well to prevent them from sticking to each other. Put that aside. Now we're gonna bring out our secret ingredient. Fermented sour cabbage. This is homemade. I'll link the recipe right here. You can check it out later. If you don't have sour cabbage, that's totally fine. You can cut up 300 grams of fresh cabbage and season it with half teaspoon of salt for about five minutes. Then squeeze some moisture out of it and you can use that as a replacement. Slice it into a third of an inch wide strips. Set the cabbage aside. We are going to prepare the chicken. Cut it into a quarter of an inch thick slabs first. This recipe asks for 150 grams of chicken, which is about half of this breast. Slice the slabs into a quarter of an inch thick strips. Besides the chicken, you can also use pork or beef. Add 1 teaspoon of cornstarch and half tablespoon of soy sauce to the chicken. Here comes my special marinade. Squeeze about half tablespoon of the pickling juice from the sour cabbage. The lactobacillus from the pickles will help to tenderize the chicken. If you don't have sour cabbage, that's totally fine. You can use buttermilk or a quarter teaspoon of baking soda would do the same job. Okay, it is well mixed now. Let's put it aside for 10 minutes. While waiting, Let's continue with the rest of the ingredient. About one teaspoon of ginger, finely dice it. Three cloves of garlic, slice it thinly. Three scallions, separate the white and the green part. Roughly dice the white part, we will use that for the stir fry. Cut the green part into one inch long pieces. Cut open five to six pieces of dried red chilies and remove the seeds. Put these four ingredients together because they will go into the wok at the same time. Reserve the green part of the scallion on the side. Slice one red chili and half of a green chili with a 45 degree angle. Thinly julienne 30 grams of carrot. You can use other vegetables if you want. I chose them for the colors. They make the dish look much prettier. Put them together along with the green part of the scallion because they will go into the wok at the end. Before cooking, quickly mix 2.5 tablespoons of soy sauce and 1 tablespoon of soybean paste together. This is the soybean paste that I'm using. I'll link the product in the description. You can also use a hoisin sauce or a miso paste instead. Set the sauce aside. Heat your wok until it is smoking hot. Add 2 to 3 tablespoons of cooking oil and toss in the chicken. If you want to make this dish vegetarian, 
Here, you can replace the chicken with tofu, mushroom, or blanched eggplant. The wok is super hot. In about 30 seconds, the chicken should be halfway cooked. Toss in the garlic, ginger, dried red chilies, and the white part of the scallions. Stir until they are fragrant. Drizzle in one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine from the side of the wok. Keep mixing. If you can't cook with alcohol for some reason, you can use the same amount of water. Throw in the sour cabbage. Stir for a minute. Push everything to the side and add in the noodles along with the sauce. Continue to mix until the noodles absorb the flavors. Add the chilies, carrot, the green part of the scallions. Keep cooking until the vegetables are a bit soft. Turn off the heat. Before serving, add a drizzle of sesame oil for the nutty flavor. Give it a final toss, and you are done. If you have ever tasted sweet potato starch noodles, you will fall in love with its texture. It's a little bit bouncy, gooey, and tender. Very interesting. This is like a noodle salad. They've got a little bit of protein, some vegetables, and noodles. Everything balances so well, and the flavor is outstanding. I hope you can give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know how it goes. As always, don't forget to check the description where you can find all the links, including the printable recipe, the related videos, the purchase link for special ingredients if you don't know where to buy them, or the wok that I have used in this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.